Tony, well, I have a call me from uh, Think Public earlier about the generalities of user involvement in service design. And uh, Ivor then started telling me about a particular method of ethnographic video, which sounds like a, a really smart way of, of gathering together issues, ideas, people, and, and, and then following through face to face in the room. Tell me a bit yeah. more about it. Well, we're looking at the moment at expanding a process that we've been using for about two years now. Um, we've been using it a lot in local government, and what, what we do is um, we find it well. We find a particular service where there is um, a problem or a service that needs to needs to be improved. Um, we then go in and film that service user experience. So we've been working a lot in housing and housing benefits. Um, so filming some quite. So what we do we go we go and film that that user experience. We're following people go through some quite sort of traumatic times quite often, and often these are quite you know powerful stories. But so what we do is we, we edit that. Um, footage down probably about you know 10 to 20 people's experiences of using those services. Um, edit that down into about a half an hour film, which we then present back to a cross section of the staff of the council, so the, the frontline staff, the managers, um, chief executive if, if, if they're around, um, and bring them together with the with the people who are experiencing the, the service. So homeless people quite often in the in the case of um, housing and housing benefits. Um, we then go as far as we can in a day um, by facilitating a process where they, you know, where they go as far as they can to, to try and resolve some of those, those issues. So they get a shared understanding of what those challenges are and develop ideas to, to resolve those at the same time. And because ev all of the stakeholders are there in the room, you can actually you can, you can get very far down the road with you know, coming up with some very good solutions. And you know that they're going to be ones that are good for everyone because everyone is there. Um, so what I want to do is expand that process to and start to use that in in central government, so on, on bigger policy issues. Um, so we're looking at a way in which we can yeah get that to happen. We'd like to take you know really big issues such as immigration, be able to make a film that powerfully explores what's going on now in a very understandable, a very direct way. Um, and then get everyone who cares about that issue, everyone who um, is in a position to do something about it, together with the people who are experiencing the, the sort of on the receiving end of the policy, and get them to work through that in the fastest way possible. The other exciting thing I think about it is that that film, the beginning, the thing that sort of starts the conversation, can then be made available publicly. So maybe the night before it's on TV or it's put on the web, and anyone else can really get their teeth into the issue and say what say what their feelings are about it as well. So is it? people in the film that meet face to face afterwards or some of them and other people? Um, yeah, I mean, well, the way we usually do it is we, yeah, we invite everyone who's been in the film because they normally want to see what's, what's happened to it. And so they're interested in coming along and yeah, seeing what's happened. And so we do, we do invite them. Um, but I mean, I think the, the goal in the long run is to involve as many people as, as are interested and to usefully use that, you know, all those different perspectives um, to make something that really works. And as well as bringing the different topics, issues, challenges, perspectives uh, in a condensed form uh, into the uh, video, do you find that the, the process of making the video um, and the relationships maybe that people develop gives you more of a buzz and more of a lift off when people get together in the room? Um, I think so. I, th I think it gives people a, a, a shared understanding. I think if you start a meeting or a, you know, a, a, an event with something that everyone attends, everyone can get their teeth into, it gives them you know, a shared reference point. Very often people are talking about the particular individuals, they're talking from a sort of concrete example. Um, so you're able to shift the, shift the discussion on slightly from everyone sort of having to, you know, uh, well, everyone having different uh, references to draw upon.